Welcome to the Satoshi Suspects, a series where we profile the most likely candidates behind the mysterious Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto. In each short episode, we take a look at an individual who either could be Satoshi themselves or could have contributed to Bitcoin if Satoshi Nakamoto is in fact a group and not simply one person. This episode will focus on Adam Back, the man many believe to be Satoshi. Dr. Adam Back is a British-born computer scientist and cypherpunk. He is currently the CEO of Blockstream, a Bitcoin blockchain company valued at over four billion dollars. The idea that Back is indeed Satoshi has a lot more merit than just simply a theory. For starters, Back invented the proof-of-work mining used in securing the Bitcoin blockchain. He first proposed the idea in 1997 and further detailed it in 2002 when he wrote a white paper for Hashcash. Hashcash was a system to limit email spam and prevent DDoS or distributed denial of services attacks. The Satoshi links get stronger when you see that Back is actually referenced in the Bitcoin white paper. If Bitcoin was a religion, which to some it kind of is, the white paper holds the same significance as either the Bible or indeed the Ten Commandments. Back and his work with Hashcash is explicitly named and referenced in the white paper. He is one of only roughly a dozen or so individuals to hold this honour. There are also implicit clues within the white paper that point to Back. Many investigators have previously highlighted that the white paper is written using British spelling. Back is British. The white paper also uses double spaces after a full stop or period. Back does this in his writings elsewhere. However, if these points are significant, it also opens up the conversation to include Craig Wright as Satoshi Nakamoto. Wright has famously claimed to be Satoshi on many occasions. He uses British spelling and double spacing at the beginning of a new sentence. So while the writing style is an indicator, it does not solely point to Back as the writer. Despite these fragments of evidence, Back repeatedly denies that he is Satoshi. He consistently states when asked in interviews that he was contacted by Satoshi via email, although there has never been confirmation of these emails as they have never been publicly released. Only one other person was contacted directly by Satoshi, American software developer Hal Finney. Many in the Bitcoin community argue that either Adam Back or Hal Finney are in fact Satoshi Nakamoto and the next episode will focus on Hal. But let's focus on Adam Back. Despite his denial, Prominent crypto industry figures such as Charles Hoskinson believe that he is Satoshi. Hoskinson named Adam Back as Satoshi on an episode of the Lex Friedman podcast, referencing the British writing style and that Adam Back was in quote, the right place, the right time, he's the right age, with the right skill set. Interestingly, Charles Hoskinson also notes the original code for Bitcoin was developed on what he says looks like a Windows machine and Adam Back to work for Microsoft. Go figure. Now at this point, you may be thinking that the evidence is mounting on Dr. Adam Back being Satoshi, but there are still some counter arguments that makes him less likely to be. The now infamous Bitcoin talk forum, which I reference as a credible timeline in many of my videos, has Adam Back's first ever Bitcoin post, which took place on April 18th, 2013. This was four years after the currency was launched and three years Years since Satoshi disappeared. You get the impression from the post that he just wanted to be known that he invented proof of work and also states that he was emailed by Satoshi back in 2008. Interestingly, he also states that he does not hold any Bitcoin himself at the time of writing. If Adam Back was Satoshi, it seems odd that he would forgo all input into the project either under his real name or the Satoshi Nakamoto identity for three years and then chime in nonchalantly without offering any meaningful input. Secondly, Adam Back was vocal during the Bitcoin block size wars about changing the size of Bitcoin's blocks. I covered the block size wars in a previous video, which you can find linked below. If you didn't know, the block size wars was essentially a standoff between those who fought to preserve Bitcoin's code and those who fought to change it. That period birthed Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, both of which had larger block sizes than the original Bitcoin code specified. If Adam Back was Satoshi Nakamoto, it seems unlikely he would have advocated for change. Besides the cypherpunk view that code is law, Satoshi had previously written about Bitcoin being able to scale with a large number of transactions. Quote, by Moore's law, we can expect hardware speed to be 10 times faster in five years and 100 times faster in 10. Even if Bitcoin grows at crazy adoption rates, I think computer speeds will stay ahead of the number of transactions. So, is Adam Back Satoshi Nakamoto? The links are undeniable, but the contradictory statements of Satoshi's writing on transactions and the lack of what we could call the smoking gun, Adam Back being Satoshi Nakamoto is a credible theory but still just a theory without concrete evidence. His contribution to the protocol from his work on Hashcash cannot be denied, and he is one of the more likely Satoshi suspects. But I cannot say for definite that he is Bitcoin's mysterious creator.